Hey everybody, it's Katie. I'm doing my week 27 update after having laparoscopic ruin y gastric bypass surgery. I had my surgery on June 26th of 2009 and um, I'm doing as good as can be expected. I um, have really done a lot by the book. Um, my surgeon is extremely happy, excuse me, just got out of the shower. It's absolutely terrible here. Um, it is like 20, like not even 20 degrees. I think it's in the, it, I think it's in single digits now since I've gotten home. Um, we had a layer of ice come through, so everyone's wrecking all the way down my street. Um, it comes downhill and then it kind of slopes to the side and people just don't slow down. Um, anyway. I had a little stomach bug this week, and for somebody who has a tiny tummy, that's not a good thing. I was in bed all day yesterday, and around 6 o'clock, my husband came home from work, and I was, I was pitiful. He said, that's it, I, you've got to go to the hospital. We called my surgeon, he said, yeah, she's dehydrated. Because within the time that I woke up until I went to the hospital, I had lost about four pounds. Not good. Um, I was pushing fluids all day long, I couldn't eat. I hadn't been eating very well for the past couple days. And then I did the dumb thing of trying to have a protein shake because I knew I didn't want to miss my protein for the day. So I um, tried that. Well, it completely soured my stomach, and I started to get sick. I took an, um, a stomach pill, um, for lack of a better word, and it stopped everything for like two hours, but then it really kicked into gear, and I was a mess the rest of the, of the day. I... Um, went to the ER and I got some fluids and they gave me some Demerol because I hurt from head to toe and that's how they knew that it wasn't something related to my surgery it was just a stomach bug so they gave me some Demerol to take away the pain I had a headache that just wouldn't quit so um, yeah then I came home and I've pretty much slept all day long um, and then I, I actually went to work for a little bit with um, a client who hadn't gotten out in a couple weeks because the weather's just been nasty on Mondays. Um, so he and I just kind of laid low, went and had some coffee, decaf, because I know the caffeinated coffee will dehydrate me. So um, made sure I got decaf. I had gone a couple days without my coffee, so I think I did okay. And I knew that I was well hydrated today. So... Um, just been on clear liquids, just like when I came home from the hospital. And you know what? It's not been so bad. I kind of got to a point where I was really sick of food. It was making me sick all the time. I put together a slideshow, excuse me, um, a slideshow of before and after pictures, but for some reason, YouTube isn't picking it up. Um, I'll have to mess around with it a little bit and see if I can get things to to get a little bit better. I found some pictures, my mother actually sent them to me, um, from the Sarah Palin rally, which I believe was in October of last year, and I just can't believe, I couldn't believe who it was. Um, I don't remember that person. Um, I feel bad because I know that a lot of people were worried about me. It was so overwhelming because it was something that hormonally I couldn't control. And I look at it now and I'm like, why did you wait so long to have something like this done? But then I think back and I, I wasn't financially ready or um, even emotionally ready. I had to go through the process to see that it wasn't as terrifying as some people make it out to be. So um, for those of you that are pre-op and you're considering it um, and you're scared, it is scary. Um, and it is, it was painful for me. The first like four to six weeks, I, um, 
but I'm not a normal case. Normally it's like two to three weeks that you have some tenderness. I had um, a stitch that was too tight. But it, once, it, once it broke loose, things were fine. Um, so weight loss wise this week, I've gone down um, another, I've gone up a little bit since yesterday, so I've gone down about three pounds this week, but I think a lot of that is due to my little um, trip to the bathroom every five seconds yesterday. Um, that really helped. <laughs> so, But don't get sick just so that you can lose weight, even though it is very quick compared to <laughs> the working out that, that I've done. Um, I wanted to show you guys, since I have it here, my Nike Plus band. Um, this is my Nike Plus band. You can get them in different colors. I think they come in black and gray and blue and black or something like that. And I got my husband got me the pink and gray. This little piece right here, you take off and you plug it into your USB port right there with that thing and when you want to wear it you put it on and you snap it into place and inside there are these little metal thingies I don't, I don't know what exactly you call that um, that touch your skin that keep your pulse and your calories burned and it also has a chip that goes inside your shoe if you have the right shoes or there's a little satchel that you can put on top um, it tracks your footsteps for the day, whether you be running or walking. Um, so it's a great calorie, calorie counter and it's a great, excuse me, pedometer for when you're working out. Um, I don't recommend wearing it all day because it um, shuts off if you're sitting still for like six minutes. So keep that in mind. But these retail for about $59, which the body bug is like $250 and it does very similar things. The body bug of course is going to do a little bit more for your money but um, if you want something more economical the Nike Pro Plus band, they sell these at like Foot Locker and Finish Line and Dick's Sporting Goods that I know of. Excuse me, I'm losing my my turban. <laughs> um, so I had a good weight loss week. I believe that puts me to 108 pounds lost. I'm really, really close um, to 110 pounds. That would be wonderful to to get that. And I will let you guys know that I am nearing Wonderland. Very close. <laughs> um, it's scary. Um, and I have just, uh, I've never, I haven't been this small since my husband and I started dating, so it's very surreal to me. Um, I am really going to set forth to work um, extra hard, um, especially when you, when you finally get to the Wonderland, you don't want to go back. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping by next week I can give you guys good news. So wish me luck. I am going to go dry my hair before I get a big poof ball. My husband calls me Mufasa because my hair's curly naturally. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Good numbers. Um, try not to get sick. Stay out of the cold. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys next week.